Bears at the Cowboys. <laughs> Dallas, big favorites, eight and a half. Zeke not expected to play. He hinted at, ah, maybe I'll be okay, but not expecting to play. Nick, how big of a deal would Zeke's absence be? Well, here's the thing. I don't think it's necessarily a big deal for this particular game. I think because of the Cowboys' defense. Cowboys' <clears throat> defense in their wins is allowing 12 points per game. So no matter who the running back is, can they get to 13? They're playing the Bears? Sure. I do think it's a big deal for the sneaky Tony Pollard hive. Ooh. Tony Pollard for a guy who's never had 15 carries in a game. For a guy who has less than 1,950 career rushing yards. Sure gets talked about on these yeah, types of shows a lot. It's true. He sure gets talked about like, oh, man. You know what I mean? Is it Tony Pollard or is it Gale Sayers back there? I'm not <laughs> sure, but Zeke's just holding him back, whoever it is. And do I think Tony Pollard's a nice, complimentary running back? Absolutely. Am I as convinced as my colleagues seem to be that he is the star that is just being held back by Zeke's usage, I'm not. And I'd like to see him on a 20-carry workload because I do think the Cowboys' goal in this game should not be, oh, let's just let Dak cook. You're playing the Bears. The, the Patriots tried to let their quarterbacks cook against that defense, and they you know, lit <laughs> Gillette on fire. And so just see, you know, get, get out of there without turning the ball over. But I am really interested in – Tony Pollard feature back game because he's had very few of those opportunities in his career. And I know his yards per carry, Greg, it's like five and a half for his right. career. But how much of that is situational? How much of that is because Zeke's worn the defense down? I want to see it. I saw this. Zeke wasn't playing, and I was like, uh-oh. Re- oh! Upset alert. Let's like, go! Uh-oh. Oh. uh-oh for a couple of reasons. Uh-oh, number one for Zeke because... It might look it might look bad because oh. all I'm on that Tony Pollard. Oh, yeah. Ben Tony Wagner. Pollard Hive. I twist. believe that they're going to definitely feature him. And it, it, it another uh oh. What concerns me is what you kind of alluded to with Dak. Right. Oh. Don't try to throw it to Dak. Don't say okay, Dak. Here you go. No Zeke. Tell you. Look, my the defense is the happy. reason why this team wins. The defense is the reason why this team wins without. You, your guy in the backfield, Ezekiel Elliott, who's typically used in those protection reasons, and the Bears are setting it all up. They traded away their best pass rusher. It's like, okay, Dak, you might have some time. Forget him, bro. You'll have some. You have guys running open. Mm. Ezekiel Elliott, Elliott isn't back here. It's just Tony Pollard. We don't want to give the ball to Tony Pollard too much because we want to make sure Jerry's right. He paid Ezekiel all this money. We got to make oh, sure wow. Zeke's going to be the guy. Tony Pollard's going to have something to say about it, and I hope for Dak's sake and the Cowboys' defense sake, they don't turn to Dak and say, here you go, Dak, do what you've always done. What do you got? There's a lot of conspiracy theories yeah, running around in that head of yours, Greg Jennings. Um, I'm kind of in between you guys. I, I want to see Tony Pollard yeah. cook, and I'm not as convinced as you are. You seem to think he won't. I he's just, not I, that guy. And maybe yeah. he's not. I don't know, And I, but I do want to see him – if he can get 20 carries or close, see what he can do. Because he has looked better than Zeke. But I do think Zeke is a big loss. Because Zeke is not what he used to be, but, man, he gets those tough yards. And he does soften up the defense for Pollard. And he is a great run running back blocker. Like, sure. for those pass plays. And they, Pollard's not. And they're going to miss that. So, But I'm with you, Greg. I don't want to see Dak Cook. I think they should just continue to do what they do and let let Pollard be the man. Four o'clock tomorrow, we'll be unveiling our upset alerts. Uh Uh-oh. And I've expanded the franchise. I've got an upset alert finalist. Bears over Cowboys. It's not an official alert, (laughs) but it's a finalist. Yes, it's one of the top three. The other two behind the paywall, but top three. (laughs) Bears, number three passing defense. Ooh, I'd be a little bit nervous. You've been heavy on that. I think I'm just just because they were playing. They looked good against America's team. I'll just say that. Now they play the Cowboys. You know how you (laughs) said that previous segment was real hard on Aaron Rodgers? Yeah. This segment was subtly really hard on Dak Prescott. Yeah. That the entire commentary was, don't listen. The worst thing you can do is, throw the ball. is ask your $40 million a year quarterback to throw the ball against the Bears. Don't do that, Dallas. It was really, And by the way, I'm not disagreeing with the commentary. It's just it feels like Dak Prescott all of a sudden, at least his stature, who is 